Yay, I'm extensioned up again. Although, for some reason, I think this looks better up. Well, in the mirror it looks better. I think it's because it's kind of Justin bieber -y. <laughs> But, um, yeah. So, I'm all hair extensioned up again. Which is awesome. What do you think? I can't do too much with them because I've literally just put them in, so I have to kind of give them a little tiny bit of time to, like, fully set. So, oh, and just, just one more thing. If, if um, JD the Guru and my friend Chris, um, I think on YouTube... He might be Dark Hero. No, he's not Dark Hero. I can't remember what he is on YouTube. I've only just subscribed to him because he's only just kind of started doing stuff. Um, but if you two are watching, Team Superman, baby. Oh, yes, I'm on Team Duffy, Team Superman. I want to know what you guys think. Who is better, Batman or Superman? I say Superman because Superman is awesome. I may actually do a discussion about this. So, that's the hair. Morning. Um, do you know what I realised? I realised that um, yesterday I forgot to show you my Mother's Day card. Look, it's Wonder Woman. And then inside, Emmy's written Emmy and Emmy, which is really cute. So, I love my Wonder Woman card. I don't think I can wear these on the way because they're steaming up. So I'm about to go to work. Just trying to get out the door. I'm not looking forward to this today because there's lots of. I don't know if it's ice or snow on the floor. And there's flakes blowing at me, but I don't know if it's snow or just excess on the trees or what. Ah. Lovely blue sky though, which is something. But yeah, look, look at the floor. It's, oh, it's snow, I think. Oh, that's okay. I can walk in that. But there is a lot of blowing at me, so I don't know if it's just snowing again or if it's, like I said, excess. Um, so it's Monday morning again. Woohoo! Don't we all love Monday mornings? Um, I have a feeling today is going to be a long vlog because I ravaged on for 15 minutes last night. I've got my topic to talk about later and when I get talking that's it so I have a feeling it's going to be quite a long one today so you might want to make yourself a cup of tea and get comfy you know oh god I think it's snowing I'm going to put my foot up I think bloody weather March, for goodness sake. We are very quickly heading towards the middle of March. And we've still got friggin' snow. It's supposed to be spring now. Oh, bloody weather. Batman. is up. Oh, I'm going to have to put it away guys and get my gloves because it's freezing. It's Can you see this weather? The wind is blowing the snow across the road. Look, can you see it? It's like, it's like waves. Snow. Look at it. It's like someone poured loads of salt on the road and the wind is blowing it along. 
Can you see the snow in me? This weather is just absolutely awful. Which one? Look at it, the road looks like the sea. Mummy, can yeah. I which one? Which one what, babe? That one. I just can't believe how it's bad that one. the weather is. Look at it. Look. It's awful. So today I'm going to be talking about um, something that has been requested and something that I feel like I know a fair amount about and that is online dating. So some of you already know but for those of you that don't I actually met my husband online and it wasn't through a dating site or anything like that it was purely by accident. Back in the day when we met, we met eight years ago, um, there was no such thing as Facebook but there was a site called Face Party, which I don't even know if it's still going, but up until a couple of years ago, it pretty much just turned into a site where people posted naughty pictures and hooked up and stuff, which it wasn't like that when I was on it. It was like Face Party was first, then they brought out MySpace, and then obviously that got took over by Facebook. So, um, I'm not going to tell you the whole story, but basically he messaged me on face party and we got talking and we exchanged numbers and used to text and talk on the phone then we used to go on webcam and stuff and we just ended up getting together and seven years later we're now married and we've got a gorgeous little girl so it can work i mean i've got a couple of other examples of ladies on here who you may or may not watch there's obviously the gorgeous shell x85x she met her fiance ben online You've got um, Lisa from Spacey's Number One Girl. She met her now husband, Alec, online. And you've also got Elaine from Elaine 12 Jones who met her husband, Neil, online. So there are good people out there. Not always men, sometimes women as well. There are good people online. Um, I can't remember the details of those three, how they met. I think Shell was a site similar to how mine was but I, I can't remember Elaine and Lisa's I can't remember if they were dating sites or just general um, like social networking sites but either way they still met decent people online so there are there are normal people on the internet I mean obviously if you swap it around we can sit there and say oh yeah we met our men online our men were normal but you can switch it around and the men could say well we met our partners online, they were normal women. It's not always the men who are freaks online, it can be the women as well. So, and just kind of changing it a bit, the amount of people that I now consider friends who I've met through YouTube, but I haven't met you in person, I've only seen you on the internet. So, I've either spoken to you or I've watched your videos and I consider you my friends. And I know we're not dating, but it's a similar concept of people who you meet online. And... Sometimes the internet can only be used for friendships and stuff because if you can't get to see these people very often it's a good way of keeping up a friendship or a relationship. But I'm, I'm getting off topic, I'm supposed to be talking about online dating. I've never used a dating website in my life, I've never signed up to a dating website because I've. that's something that I've never actually sort of looked into. I'm not saying I never would, obviously if, I hope to God it doesn't, but if anything ever happened between me and Mark... It's, I'm not ruling out that I would ever use a dating website because I, I personally do not believe that your soulmate has to be in the place where you live. I do believe that everybody has a soulmate. I do believe that some people have more than one because you can meet somebody and have an amazing relationship with them and then unfortunately it can end and then you can meet someone else and have an amazing relationship with them. So I do believe you can have more than one soulmate in your life and I do believe that everybody has at least one soulmate but I don't believe that it has to be in the place where you live. Like I, both, I've only ever had two partners, both, I'm going to get a bit graphic now, both um, relationship wise and um, sexually, I've only ever been with two men. The first guy lived in my town, but he was originally from Cambridge. So I don't class him as the same 
place as me because he wasn't from where I, I'm from. And then obviously Mark was in Liverpool and if it hadn't have been for the internet I would have never met him and I wouldn't have had my gorgeous little girl that I've got now. So I do believe that you can meet people on the internet and you can fall in love and you can have a brilliant life with them. Um, but no, I don't have any experience with dating websites because I've never used them. I know that Match.com claims to have the highest rate of relationships and marriages and stuff. But I think that's purely because they are the most popular. They are kind of like the number one well-known dating website. If you th if you say to somebody, name me three dating websites, pretty much everybody would say Match.com because it's easy to remember and it is one of the most popular. I've seen that it is one of the most um, advertised as well. I know there's ones, there's like plenty of fish, there's, um, there's one called Uniform Dating, and there are other websites out there, but Match.com is the one that springs to mind for me, but I don't have any experience with it. Um, just to kind of flip it, you can get not such great experiences from meeting people online. I mean, I'm going to use... Um, the TV show and film Catfish as an example or one of my examples. Now I mentioned this in a vlog the other day and a lot of you said you hadn't seen it but you were interested. Catfish basically was a film first. There's a guy called Neve who met a girl online and fell in love and they, and they had a proper full-on relationship and it came to a point where he wanted to meet up with her. He went to meet her and it turned out that she wasn't who she said she was. She was somebody else. And this woman had not only created the profile of the woman that he had fallen in love with, but she'd also created seven, I think it was seven other profiles of friends of this person. I'm sure the woman was called Megan. So she had eight Facebook profiles on the go of men and women, and they were all fake. And it's just kind of like, how, how can you do that? I mean, she had a disabled son and a husband to look after, but she still found time to do this. It's just mental. And she had a, a young child as well. I think, she, I think her daughter was about eight or nine. So it just goes to show that there are people out there. So a catfish is classed as somebody who creates a fake profile and lies about who they are online. And because of the popularity of the film... They created a TV show from it and Neve actually presents the TV show and he helps people across America who have got into online relationships but for some reason or another they cannot seem to meet up with the person that they are talking to and in the majority of the shows I've watched, I'm not going to spoil it too much but the people aren't who they say they are. There have been a few where they have which is good but... It is quite scary that somebody you think you're talking to is not who they say they are. A lot of the time people can create fake profiles with photos they've stolen from another Facebook user, which is always scary. Um, or it's not always Facebook, is it? There's, there's different things. One word of advice I would say to people is if you are talking to somebody online or you're thinking about going into online dating... Always be very careful, always go in with an open mind. If you meet somebody who you like and you look through their photos, always make sure they've got a lot of photos for a start. Um, if they've only got one or two pictures, sort of say, have you got any more that I can look at, that sort of thing. If they say, no, this is all I've got, then steer clear because more than likely they are a catfish. They are somebody that you don't want to get involved with. Um, but if they've got lots of pictures that you can have a look at, then that's always good. If um, they, you can always see if they've got a YouTube channel. That's always a good way. It's like, I can prove who I am to you guys because you can look at my Facebook, you can look at my Instagram, my Twitter, and obviously all my photos that are on there, I have put on myself. But then you can kind of verify it with my Facebook, my YouTube channel because obviously I make videos. I've got over 300 videos on my YouTube channel and my face is the same in all of them. So I am who I say I am. So YouTube is always a good way of kind of finding out if people are who they say they are. If you kind of get into a bit of a, a relationship where you start talking to somebody online, you can always, a bit later on, see if they want to do some sort of a web chat, like with a webcam. Or if they don't have a webcam but you've exchanged numbers and you talk on the phone, you can always 
um, if you've got iPhones you can do FaceTime which you can see each other or you can use Skype, Skype has a video calling option, there are different ways that you can kind of video chat with these people so that you can see if they look like what they say they look like, if they refuse point blank no I'm, I'm not willing to do that then there's something that you need to find out, there's more than likely they're not who they say they are or what I have found with some people is they put pictures on and it is them but they're perhaps old pictures there was one guy on catfish who he was who he said he was there were all his own pictures but they were older pictures and since then he had gained a lot of weight so he'd always been a big guy but from the photos he put on facebook to when they met up in person he had gained probably about 200 pounds so he was like three times the size of what he was to start with which wouldn't bother some people but it obviously bothered him enough that he would have to lie about it and this is something that you need to be careful of when you meet people online because i could go on facebook today and create a profile i could make myself into a gorgeous six foot blonde australian supermodel by the name of kim and I could put photos on, I could Google um, American supermodel and I could find, not American, Australian supermodel and I could find some photos, profile done and I could fool people into that I am this person and that is what is quite scary about internet dating and I think this is what puts a lot of people off because you're not getting the face to face contact and this is why a lot of online relationships don't work in the real world because when you finally meet up Meeting somebody in person is very different to meeting them online. You you could know absolutely every little detail about them. You can know what they look like. You can know how old they are. This, that and the other. But until you meet them in person, everything changes. Because you do not learn people's mannerisms. You do not learn people's temperaments and all this sort of thing from photos and from talking on the phone because normally when you're getting into a new relationship and you're talking on the phone and, and sending pictures and stuff they're only seeing one side of you when you actually meet them in the real world you will then see everything about them it's like mark didn't know that i can be as naggy and moany as what i can be and no offense but i think most women can be quite moany and naggy but obviously when he first met me um, and we were talking online and then when we first used to meet up in person you still kind of got that front it's not until you like move in together or you your relationship becomes more serious they kind of see what you are truly like and this is where it can make or break a relationship luckily he hasn't gone anywhere yet but it, it can be quite an eye-opener and it's not until you live with somebody that you see what they're truly like now if you live with somebody after you've dated them for say I don't know a year two years and you've lived in the same place and you can kind of go and see each other all the time it's not as much of a shock but if it's somebody you've met online and you date in person for say a month and then move in it can it can be really difficult i'm going to be honest when me and mark got together like officially became a couple we only spent i think about three months apart and then he moved in with me and my mum and my dad because he lived so far away, I didn't want to go up there on my own. He couldn't afford to keep coming down to see me because he didn't have a very good job. He only worked 10 hours a week as a cleaner. Um, so he couldn't afford the train fares to keep coming down and seeing me. So in the end, he moved in after about three months. And it, it is quite a daunting prospect, but it's just worked for us. It's not going to work for everybody. I've had other experiences with people online. Um... I had, I've had two other men who I used to talk to online when I was a lot younger, when I was probably about 17, and the internet wasn't the same 10 years ago as what it is now, I mean I'm 27, so we're talking 10 years ago, the internet was so much, dare I say, more primitive 10 years ago than what it is now, and I... <sighs> I used to talk to this guy on, on face party chat and he used to put his webcam on and talk to me and I would only ever see his face and he was a lovely guy I think his name was Tom and he used to talk to me and then one day he confided in me that he liked to wear women's clothing sometimes so I was like right okay we weren't in an official relationship or anything but I did enjoy talking to him and he used to tell me how he would go shopping with his sister and, and buy like a dress or something so I was like right okay and I kind of got my head round it a bit 
And then one day, I was talking to him, and he had his webcam on. I didn't have mine on because I didn't have a webcam. So he, he was just talking away, and he said, oh, I've got something to show you. So I was like, all right, okay. And he said, close your eyes. And I thought he was going to, what? In a minute. He was like, close your eyes. So I was like, okay. And I thought he was going to, I thought he was going to like, show me himself in some woman's clothing or something because we'd been talking about it. But he stood up and he had a full blown bonk on. And it was just like, oh my God, okay, uh, don't need to see that. So he literally stood up and it was like, swing. And I was just like, oh my God, what the hell? I hadn't ever seen a penis before. And I was just like, oh my God. I mean, I didn't lose my virginity till I was 20. So I hadn't seen one. I, didn't, I knew what they looked like, obviously, but I hadn't seen one kind of just for me. Hello. Um, so I was like, click, bye, not talking to you anymore. Yeah. I really want some circle. You want some cereals? Yeah. Okay. I want some circles. Okay. So, another experience that I had with a guy online was, um, I can't remember his name, but I was only 17, 18 again, and he used to send me poems, like really intense poems. I can't even remember where I met him. It was that long ago. And um, he kept going on and on about meeting up. So in the end, I was like, okay, we'll meet up on this date. Um, you can book in at this hotel, get a coach down, because he didn't live near here. And um, as it was getting closer, I was getting more and more nervous and scared. I mean, considering I hadn't had a relationship before, um, it was all new to me. And I was just like, what the hell am I doing? I'm too scared. I'm too young. I don't like it. So I spoke to my mum, because my mum knew all about this. And I said, look, I'm not ready, etc, etc. And she said, if you're not ready, don't do it. So I messaged him, and I, I, I told him that I didn't feel ready in that. And he, he went psycho. He just went mental. And um, he was like, I need to see you. I've got to see you. I need to be with you. And I was like, look, I'm really sorry. I'm just, I'm not comfortable enough yet. Give me some more time. And he was like, I need to see you now. If you cancel on me, I'm going to kill myself. And I was like what seriously if you cancel and we don't meet up i'm gonna kill myself and after that i said look i'm sorry i think you need some time to cool down i'm not gonna talk to you for a while and i never messaged him again and i never heard any more from him so i don't know if he killed himself or not but um you don't need that sort of pressure so there are some weirdos out there you do have to be very very careful if you ever meet anybody who is very pushy really oh let's meet up let's meet up do it when you're ready. Do not ever be forced into meeting up with somebody. What else I would recommend is take someone with you. Like when I first met Mark, when he first came to where I am now. I mean, we'd been talking for a year online, but it was still really daunting because I'd never met. I'd only just come out of a relationship with my ex a couple of months before. And I'd never, um, I'd never done anything like that before. So he was coming on the train my mum came with me to the train station to pick him up and that and we brought him back to my house and luckily he was all right he was a bit um full on when I first met him but that's because he thought we were in a relationship and I, I don't know but um he kind of calmed down a little bit and I warmed up a little bit and it was all good but never feel pressurized into doing something that you're not comfortable doing and like I said if you do arrange to meet up with somebody, take a friend with you and always meet up in a public place. Don't say, oh, let's meet down this, this back alley, you know. Always go to somewhere that's going to have lots of people. So arrange to meet up in a bar or a shopping centre or a restaurant or something like that where there's going to be quite a few people and always take someone with you. And if they're a genuinely nice person, they won't have a problem with you bringing a friend. You could even recommend to them... Look, this is the first time we're meeting. I'm a bit nervous. Why don't you bring a friend with you? I'll bring a friend with you. And we'll see. I'll bring a friend with me, sorry. And we'll see what happens. That way, there's not as much pressure when you meet up. And it's not quite as uncomfortable. Because that person who turns up could be anybody, you know? It's not necessarily the person you've been talking to. So you do have to be very careful. Um, 
And then if they are who they say they are, then after that you can kind of just see how it goes, get to know them. If you can find out quite a lot about them beforehand, you can kind of spy on them a little bit, which is quite naughty. But it's like um, my friend, one of my friends um, met up with somebody this weekend and they'd only been talking for about two weeks. So I was a bit like, oh God, right, okay. But my friend knew everything, well, not everything, but they knew where this other person said they worked. I'm trying to not use he's or she's because, yeah. Um, they found, they knew where this person worked because the person had told them. So if my friend had wanted to, my friend could have gone to the place where this person said they worked and kind of just seen if this person did work there so if you can find out any information that's always good never give out your personal address straight away because you don't know um there are pros and cons to online dating if you find a genuinely nice person then it is good it's brilliant and i know like i said there's four of us on youtube who have all met our partners that way and i'm sure there are many many others who have met their partners online and at the same time, it can go wrong. I mean, most of us watch Jeremy Carl. We've seen these people who have met online and it's not worked out. But if you are honest with the person, hopefully they will be honest with you and then you can kind of build a relationship on that. So my final thoughts, because I've rambled on, my final thoughts on online dating are, I do, I do agree with it. I do think that you can find some genuinely nice people online. If you are looking purely for somebody to date and go out with I would recommend using something like match.com because they kind of take all your details and they bong you together with somebody who will kind of fit into with your personality and it's nice because as far as I know match.com kind of vet people a little bit to make sure they're not weirdos and stuff um but all I can say is if you want to have a crack at online dating or meeting people online go for it just please be really careful because you don't know who you're going to be meeting um so just be very careful take somebody with you and go to well well lit and well busy areas you know and that way you're as safe as you can possibly be so that's all i've really got to say about it it worked for me it's worked for other people that i know so it can work for you too so i hope this video has kind of been informative or at least been interesting um, if there's any other topics you want me to talk about, like I said, please feel free to ask me. I mean, I recently subscribed to a lady today, um, and she does a lot of request videos, and she was actually doing a video all about periods and stuff, which isn't going to be to everybody's taste, but I actually thought, this is really good. I'm so glad that somebody is kind of addressing some issues that some women may have. So... I'm more than happy to do videos about anything. If you're a bit embarrassed about what you want me to talk about, then feel free to private message me on here. I don't have to mention you, like if you request a video about periods or about um, maybe every time you sneeze, you wet yourself a little bit, you know. If you don't want me to say, oh, this video was requested by so-and-so, I don't have to. It can be 110% honest. All I will say is I've had a request... Um, for this video and then I will talk about it to the best of my ability. I don't know everything about everything. I don't claim to. I'm just saying what's in my head. Um, but yeah, if you've got any requests of anything you'd like me to talk about, then please feel free to let me know either down below or you can private message me if it's a bit more personal. But um, yeah, so anything. I can talk about beauty related stuff. I can talk about health. I can talk about just general issues like about benefits so yeah let me know guys and i will see you all tomorrow bye